Hey everyone, it's Melody with Design by Melody. I am here with the last layout for my Take 10 kit and glam, glam bag for February. And I thought I would go ahead and share a little bit with you about my process before I get started. <clears throat> now these are the cards that I have left. And when I did my second layout, I looked at the cards that were remaining just to make sure that they coordinated well enough to be able to put on one layout, and they do. There's the same darker kind of pink color and then also this lighter pink that kind of tie it together and then the green and then the wood grain is a repeating pattern as well. I also have these two cards left and I'm not sure if I'll use I have never used a 3x4 wood veneer card and so I'm not exactly sure if I'll use this. I thought about maybe layering it up but <clears throat> just looking at what's left I have these I also looked at the tags and pieces that were left. This is cut off of a card. I can either use it as a journaling spot or just as another layering piece. And then I have these four tags, or three tags and a label. And again, they all coordinate well. I made sure I had a purple one that was left on the last one, and so I made sure I used it on the last layout because it coordinated really well with those cards. I also have my little five little cork pieces. I have two or three washi stickers and so we'll see if I can use those and then of course I have a lot of these left and a lot of sequins left <clears throat> so what I decided to do and this is what I do with all of my layouts you just don't see this part of the process what I did then is I pulled out I looked at these and I said okay what is it that I'm going to add to it so I pulled out my boxes that have my colors in them so like I pulled out green, I pulled out pink, and I pulled out gold because I thought gold would be a nice complement to the wood and cork pieces and it would be a nice contrast color, especially since there's gold in some of the embellishments already. Then I went through my color boxes and I pulled out a couple pieces that I could use with this. There's this one, the Bright Idea, and because it has that same pink color, I also pulled out a few things like this, which is a... Um, something I can make a filler card with because it had a lot of the same colors and tones. Also pulled out a few little vellum pieces that have green on them. Things that coordinate well enough that I could add it. I didn't look for any theme whatsoever. I was just primarily looking at color. Same thing here. I pulled out the pink one. I didn't pull out as much out of this box. I just kind of rifle through it for maybe a minute or two and pull out whatever catches my eye. Pulled out a camera some hearts, a few labels, um, a doily that I cut out, which you could use either side of that. Put out a tag, you know, a ticket, speech bubble, a few more little pieces of doilies, and then um, something that I could use as a journaling spot. And then on my gold one, gold and silver, I put out these different gold pieces because I could also use them with the exact same kit. And then I have a chipboard button and then three four chipboard frames that I could use two of them have gold on it which is why I pulled that out and then I was thinking okay what else can I add I went ahead and pulled out one I looked through my little box of new things that I have that I've added to my stash and I found the basic gray capture die cuts that were out of their waterfall pack so I just rifled through here and found a few more things that were kind of the same colors or color tones I have that kind of tealy green color on that card and on this one. I also have a few little tags that have that same kind of brighter pink in there. have a half of a medallion here. A few photo corners. And then the very last thing that I pulled out, of course I have my stamps over here, by the way. Well, there, I guess there's two more things I pulled out. I pulled out my wood veneer. I have a difficult time using wood veneer like I think I've mentioned before, so I decided that maybe adding a few more pieces of wood veneer would make it look a little bit more cohesive, things like the star, or I have a few little um, very thin wood veneer pieces. I thought maybe adding a few more pieces would make it to where this one tag didn't look so out of place. So I went ahead and put out my wood veneer. Now I do have a few wood tags and labels in here as well. Then the very last thing I pulled out were some alphas, and I just flipped through my alpha box. Pulled out a green, which is not exact, but it would complement well enough. I pulled out this kind of peachy pink, which again, not exact, but it complements well enough. 
another green, kind of this orangey color, and then this paler um, yellow, which matches these. Now, I don't know if I'll use these because I do have the alpha stamp, but I thought it'd be nice to have the option to. So I'm going to get ready and get started. I have not pulled out any photos at all yet. This was just kind of my process for getting started. Um, but now I'm going to find some photos and we'll get started on the process video. Thank you. Alright, so I found some photos, but first I have to clean off <laughs> my desk and the space. And the photos that I pulled out today are the August 2014 photos that I have yet to scrapbook. And these are actually going to be the first page in, in this section of my album, and it's a project life spread, obviously. I only actually have two pages in total for the entire month of August, and no 12 by 12 pages. So I really apparently didn't take many pictures that month. <clears throat> and these pictures truly aren't of anything spectacular. It's just a month that we have a few pictures of things that we were doing around the house. Just, you know, a couple fun days planning, uh, playing in the car. Ernest and Kaylin have some funny faces on and then Kaylin trying on a, um, a Ninja Turtle mask at the store. And then just a couple pictures of Kaylin cooking with me. I think we were baking cookies. And then I apparently had made a couple cards that month so I just took a photo of one of the cards that I had made Now I was just trying to figure out the placement of everything here and I left the two four by six cards at the very top and then I have my photos at the bottom now generally I would try to spread out the photos a little bit more this one's very bottom heavy with photos but um, because those photos go together I wanted to keep them side by side now these are not Project Life cards from Becky Higgins. They are, you know, designed and made by Studio 29 Designs and their Take 10 kit. Um, but they're slightly larger, about a, a less than an eighth of an inch larger than the Project Life cards. But I mix the Project Life cards in with my album. And so, in order to make it so that the card on one side of the 3x4 pocket and the card on the other side of the 3x4 pocket, in order to make sure that they match, I go ahead and I trim any card that I add to it to be the exact same size that way I don't have you know the back side of one card peeking out on the other side I am taking my four by six cards and cutting them down slightly so I can put them on my white card mat like I always do this is just a personal preference I just like the way that it looks very cohesive since I have all of my photos printed with the um, white base as well I just really like how it gives the top and the bottom row a very clean look. It's a very, very distinct look, and I really like the way that it is. Now, the saying on this one card says we deserve each other, which is extremely cute, but I don't have a photo to go along with it, so I'm just covering it up a little bit and adding my embellishments right on top. And the first thing I add is that doily. Now, if you've watched my channel for a while, you'll probably know I'm not like a big gold fan. I generally have a difficult time using it, honestly. Not in this layout, though. I have absolutely no problem whatsoever adding the gold in this layout, which is fantastic because it really coordinated well with the colors. <clears throat> And these gold labels are from an old Studio Calico kit, I believe, that I got probably in 2013 or so. I think it was 2013, maybe 2014. I can't remember, but I didn't use any of them. I don't think when I got them and now this is really my first time using them and I probably use four or five of them on this page. Now, because I had pulled out those green embellishments, I wanted to make sure that I had a little bit of green at a couple different points on the page, just in case I decided to add any of those green embellishments. So I just pulled out my little scrap box, which you saw in the screen. It's a very a small box, and these keep my very smallest scraps. If I don't keep it in this box, and it's anything smaller than that, then I throw it away. I just cannot keep every single itty bitty, tiny, minuscule piece. I keep most of them. I mean, let's be honest, I keep most of them. But every once in a while, there is something that doesn't need to be kept. Um, but any of my small scraps go in that little clear box that you saw. And that's where I pulled out that green paper to mat this photo on. 
Now I decided just to go ahead and glue those cork pieces down. I let them sit there for just a moment to kind of marinate, I guess you could say, but it looked good enough to me. So I went ahead and stuck it down because I didn't want to start moving it around and then not even end up with it on the page. I attempt to use this frame and it doesn't work. I just don't like the way that it looks. I'm also trying a couple other small pieces here just to see if anything kind of catches my eye and it's really not. So I start with this one sticker that has like month, day, and year and it was one of those washi stickers. And so I decide I try to stamp on it with um, the number 2014 for the date, but you'll see here, I'm going to, I'm going to do it in just a moment. At first I tried to put August, like A-U-G, as an abbreviation, and then I was going to put the year. But when I try to stamp it here, it because it's a washi tape, it doesn't really um, dry. I really needed stays on ink, I guess, to do that. And I don't, I actually do have stays on ink, but it's the gray, I mean, it's the brown, um, and I don't ever pull it out. So I'm just using these fancy pant stickers. I cannot remember what, ca uh, they might be from Memories Captured. Or something like that. I don't remember 100% sure where they're from, but I take those 12 by 12 sticker sheets and if there are alphas in there that can be cut down, I do cut them down because I like to only pull out the alpha that matches my color scheme and not, you know, a whole 12 by 12 sheet if it's got seven or eight different alphas on it. And I am actually going to go relatively simple with this card. I was um, pleasantly surprised with how it turned out. First of all, it's gold on this tag, and I don't normally stamp with gold. I mean, um, I don't normally use gold on my layouts. And then second of all, this card is pretty simple, and I'm usually a much bigger decorator. But I love how it turned out. This, this color scheme is not one that I normally pull, and so I was very happy with how it looked. It's kind of a pink, a few little greens, and then neutrals like your cork, your wood grain, and your gold. All right, now I'm working on the photos at the bottom, and I just moved my three by four cards to the side. Sometimes I scrapbook with all the whole thing laid out here, and then other times I like to kind of single out the cards that way it's easier for you to be able to see what I'm doing now there's this one washi sticker that says good as gold and um yeah I think that's what that says <clears throat> excuse me. Yes, it says good as gold, but it wasn't coming out. So I had to trim it out and then I ended up matting it on some white cardstock because you could see through it and I didn't want to be able to do that. So I decided to go ahead and embellish up in the top corner of here. And this is where you can see out the window. Kaylin is cooking on our little island and the, we have a little island, a cart that you can use as an island and we just have it sitting right in front of the window so you can roll it out if we need to, but it's a great place for him to stand on a chair and cook or it's really more like stirring stuff but you know you get the idea and I'm going to go ahead and use these tags up down here at the bottom but I have two on one card and one on the other and there's a lot of kind of empty space on these photos because it's more of the background that you see and um, I really like how he's not the center of the image on that bottom left photo that way I can really build a nice size cluster here right on the window part of the photo And so it says, good as gold, um, baking cookies with mama or something like that. Or I think it just says cooking with mommy is what it says. So he calls me mama now, but he used to call me mommy. Well, and sometimes he still calls me mommy, but he calls me mama more often, which is what I call my mom. So I think it's kind of funny. I think it's cute and kind of funny at the same time. My boy is definitely growing up and it's kind of sad, but you know, that's life. He starts kindergarten in August. Well, I think August, depending on what school we end up putting him in. We've applied for a couple of different schools, but he's also got his regular public school that he's registered for. But I'm sad because my baby is starting kindergarten ha! Huh, and we don't plan on having any more children. So he's my baby. But anyways, sorry, I'm going down 
a rabbit trail that doesn't need to be gone down apparently. Now what I'm gluing down here, and it's really hard to see it here, but make sure to go back and check my blog at the end because I post photos and I try to take some closer shots of each row just so it's easier to see. And I am putting, I just put wood veneer stars at the bottom corner of that photo. I just wanted to something to slightly offset the rest of the embellishments that's in the corner of the photo, the other corner, um, because it was starting to get a little bit heavy up there. Now I put out this green tag that says gangs all here because these, these photos on this layer are really just about the three of us, Ernest, Kaylin, and myself. So it's kind of like gangs all here. This is our normal everyday life. And I believe I actually stamp everyday life on one of the photos with Ernest and Kaylin making faces in the car. Now, I really like this card that says forever with the heart, but I felt okay covering it up because I had that one tag right below that on the face of Kaylin cheese in it while we were cooking. So I was okay with covering up this one knowing that you could see the other one. I was just giving you a quick thumbs down. I thought I was going to use those um, basic gray capture die cut pieces, but I don't. So I'm just like, oh, thumbs down. Didn't make it on the page. But here's where I'm adding that everyday life stamp. And I had stamped it off, and it was this really pretty gray. So I had very, for a very slight moment just um, thought about adding that to the layout. Now, this everyday stamp fits almost perfectly in this tag. The add, what is it? The ascender on the D and the descender on the Y and the F run slightly over the gold edging. And so I just wipe the ink off of that part. That way it doesn't smudge. But the rest of it stamped perfectly. So it's going to go right on the top of this one card of Ernest and Kaylin making faces. They were in the car one day, made faces, and texted them to me while I was at work. That's kind of our normal. I mean, today, even just as an example, today, Kaylin, I mean, our Ernest texted me some pictures of them. So that's kind of our normal thing. I have a lot of pictures on my phone that are that way. Now, I was just going to move it over slightly, but it's stuck to that photo and there's no getting it off unless I rip it. So I just left it be. And then I put on one of those um, black vellum stickers. I'm mounting most of them on white cardstock because it's really hard to read them when they're on most of the other photos because they're kind of dark photos. Well, some of them are. Um, but I did put it right on top of the photo, the second photo of Ernest and Kaylin making faces. And what it says is ignore the critics, which is kind of fitting because they're acting extremely goofy. All right, I'm taking another one of these gold tags. I like that I have enough of them to be able to kind of repeat the repeat throughout the layout. And then I'm tying in those gold and black vellum stickers right along with it. So what it says is Ninja Turtle. And I can't remember. I think it says like, and he's a Ninja Turtle. Or something like that right above it. And then it's going to, um, I'm going to put that right on the corner of that photo and then cut off the excess. And for these that are in my little color packs, I do keep the excess pieces to be able to use them on other layouts. Now I'm only sorting things by color when I cut them out of paper or when I'm given them like in a rack or in a D stash, if I'm giving them and I don't know where they go, like what collection they are or anything, or if I don't have anything else from that collection, I'll stick it in my color boxes. Most of the stuff that's in here are just random die cuts and paper pieced or paper, paper um, fussy cut paper pieces. And then like these studio calico labels. So I'm just kind of looking here to decide what else I want to do. This is the point where I kind of pull it all, pull it all together and see if there's anything that, you know, is missing or looks blank. And so I am a stamping true story onto this circle label. And then I'm going to put it um, on this photo with Ernest and Kaylin. And then I'm going to put a little um, banner right behind that. I'm just cutting out the wood grain piece off this one um, card, the wood grain card, wood grain tag rather, I should say. And I apologize if I don't have a ton of energy. It's not really that late, but I'm tired. It's the end of my work week and I'm actually off for the weekend because my sister had her babies. So we're going to go visit 
tomorrow. Um, but I wanted to get this video up for you guys. Um, now if you missed it, the winner was announced for the video, um, not for the video, for the giveaway yesterday. And I'm not going to say who it is. You have to go back and watch it, but it was announced on Monday, which was yesterday. If you missed it, definitely go back and check it out. And that package will be shipped out once I get the information for the winner, but stay tuned because in just a couple days, I will be posting my recap video and review video of the kit and I'll share the layouts with you that I created. I'll share what's left that I didn't get to use up and then I'll also kind of give you a few thoughts as well as again the details on how the kit works. I really appreciate Sarah Mitchell for giving me these products. I think I called her Sarah Michelle the other day and I apologize Sarah if I did. I, I do realize your name is Sarah Mitchell but for some reason I had Sarah Michelle in my head. I'm just... Who knows what I was thinking, but anyways, um, Sarah provided these kits to me this month. Um, and then also gave me two kits to give away. Well, it's a kit and a glam bag to give away a set to give away. So I really appreciate it. I really loved enjoy. Um, I really loved and enjoyed working with this kit. It was such a fun kit to work with. And I never have really subscribed to a pocket kit before. And I thought that was really interesting. Um, especially since I have so many pages to catch up on. <laughs> but anyways, thank you for watching guys. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and then also hit that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. Thank you. Bye.